Joe Biden is sitting in, you know, and when you have these climate summits, what happens is the speaker gets up on the stage, but then everyone else, they sit down and it looks like bleachers, kind of looks like a big, you know, like a big um, lecture hall where you would get lectured and everybody has their country in front of them. And when you're at a climate summit or a G20 meeting or the UN, they don't have your name, they have your country. And so Joe Biden is sitting there and it says United States and there's a cup of coffee in front of him. So clearly his staff knew that he wasn't going to make it. Clearly, someone on his staff was like, look, Joe's got to sit through uh, all these speeches about boring-ass climate change. He's not going to make it. So get him some coffee. Just leave it there. Hopefully, he'll drink it. And he's sitting there. He's got his mask on, of course, because everyone does. And he's listening to the speaker. And the speaker is prattling on about, I don't know, the world exploding there. And his eyes start to close. There they are. And he's his eyes start to close. And you can tell he's he's getting that rapid. Oh, no, he's back open. He popped him back open for a second. Now, no, now they're gone. He tried his darndest to get those eyelids. But without the toothpicks, it's difficult. And he's just, he's nodding. You can sense he's breathing a little heavy heavier through the mask and then the staff starts to realize what's going on so they've got to send in reinforcements man they've got to send somebody in to go wake up the president of the united states because he's bored oh there you go there's the guy uh mr president i need you to uh, look at this tweet here okay just look at this okay and then joe biden yeah then he snaps out of it and he pulls <laughs> it's amazing he pulls a pen out of his pocket at the same time he wakes up he must have been dreaming about signing executive orders because he's got his hands folded and this aide walks over they this like intern or whatever they're like you you go wake him up but be subtle but just don't don't draw a lot of attention to it so he walks over with a phone like he's asking the president some pressing question that can't wait till the end of the climate summit and joe biden immediately wakes up and pulls a pen i was like where's executive order all cited where is it oh just sorry i must have dozed off there that's uh that's what's happening now at the look and again you can't blame the guy. He's 80 years old. He's listening to the most boring blah in the entire world. And, he, and he's, and he's got to do it on camera. I mean, I would fall asleep uh, as well. But I, you know who I admire is this White House intern. Can you imagine being a White House intern? Being a White House intern for the, uh, for the Joe Biden administration, it must be unlike any internship you've ever had in your entire life. It must be like no other job listing. I don't know where you find, where do you find internships, like at college? There must be every Ivy league you know liberal college between between delaware and maine and over to new york and pennsylvania and california i'm sure they hit berkeley and stanford and all those places they must run an ad for an intern it's got to be something like you know wanted white house intern duties include changing diapers wiping butts subtly waking people up experience with elder care plus must be fluent in incoherent gibberish must be available to work a grueling seven hours a week. Must be fully vaccinated and masked. Transgender minorities encouraged to apply. No white supremacists. Uh, contact Jen Psaki at the White House press office. But not this week. She's out of the, uh, she's out of the office with COVID.